What's going on, man? I hope you are well on this beautiful, beautiful day. Wherever it is, I hope that you are feeling uh, fulfillment, that you are feeling grateful, that you are ready to tackle uh, the challenges that are in front of you and the opportunities that they present. Um, I'm on my way to the gym right now, and I just felt inspired to to leave you guys a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration about uh, about life, <laughs> about about all this hair system junk. Um, but but overarching, you know how I feel. This stuff always applies back to life. Now. I have decided I'm gonna go to uh, to Peru to go do some some men's work, uh, to go with a group of powerful men uh, that I'm excited to go with, and uh, really really work on first our masculinity, second our spiritual connection, and our purpose in this world, so that way we can show up better in our communities, and we can we can play a bigger role. Our, not even a bigger role, our perfect role in the environment, whatever that might be. And I've been really, really excited about this because as you guys know, well, maybe you do know, maybe you don't know, but like one of the reasons why I have been so passionate about all of this, this hair system stuff is because it's, it's been yes about hair systems. It's like, yes, let's look better. Yes. Let's, let's feel better. Uh, but it's about reconnecting with our identity. And part of our identity is, for most of us in this community, is being a man and is being a showing up in our fullest essence in the world so that way we can go crush it in our relationships, in, in, in business, in fitness, in, in every aspect of our life. I am all for and about showing up more fully as a man in more powerful ways <laughs> and um, it got me thinking right like what's holding us back what's holding us back what's holding you back from getting a hair system what's getting you back what's holding you back from dealing with your hair loss what's holding you back from showing up more as a man inside of your life, inside of your relationships, inside of your profession, whatever it might be, what's holding you back? And 99 times out of 100, the answer is we are holding ourselves back. I'm holding myself back. You're holding yourself back. Most often, it's not other people that are putting constraints on us and and it's very easy for us to want to be like oh yeah well life circumstances you know I don't have that perfect job or I don't have uh, you know that perfect relationship or I don't have the opportunity and you know what sometimes we don't have all the opportunity that we want sometimes you know our relationships are not perfect and we're working on them but the number one thing that you and I can change on a day-to-day -day basis is actually ourselves. We can always change ourselves no matter what the situation is. You know, I'm reminded of Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning, where he recounts being in a Nazi concentration camp and basically, I mean, kind of being sentenced to death, going from being a doctorate with, you know, about to submit his doctoral paper, having it ripped up or burned uh, in front of him, I can't remember, and having to find meaning in this life and of just trying to survive. Crazy, right? And the only thing that he could do, and he knew this and he wrote about it, the only thing that he could do was change his mind. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. We can change our mind and show up more inside of our life in ways that are productive. We can destroy the habits. We can destroy the patterns in our brain. We can attack our subconscious schematas that are affecting our life in a way that is causing us to either not show up or be destructive in building the things that we want in our life. We have that choice. We have that choice and it's up to us to figure out um, what, what happens after we make the choice to to get rid of those patterns uh, and, and deciding to break them down. 
deciding before we actually break them down is step one. Oh man. So anyways, I'll be going on this men's retreat and uh, yeah, we'll be doing uh, a lot of work, a lot of heart opening work and there will be some plant medicine ceremonies in there. Um, there'll be some ayahuasca as well as some wachuma, which are, those are indigenous to Peru, which uh, man, I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be at the end of May. Man, uh, but I'm ready to show up more in my life in this channel. I think I'm gonna be posting more about this men's work stuff uh, on this channel. Yes, lots of hair system talk, hair loss talk. It's gonna be the bread and butter, always will be, but it's time to go deeper and integrate myself fully. Um, and that means showing you every part of myself. And if you don't like that, I'm, you know, okay. Like, it's fine, you can unsubscribe you know, be blessed. And uh, thank you so much for watching and being a part of my journey so far. But I need to, uh, I need to change and I need to grow. And that looks like integrating myself in all my elements. And I'm very called to work with men, work on myself first, but work on, with men on showing up more as a healthy masculine entity in this side of this world. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. I love you so much. Take care.